Yeah, the down here, this, it's, we refer to it as a ritual object, parentheses, a boli. So a boli from the, the Bamana culture of Mali. The very um, nondescript form belies the, uh, the power held within. What are we looking at, though? It has this vague animalistic shape to it, but clearly not uh, intended to be a, a, a fully rendered realistic depiction of an animal. It maintains this somewhat liminal appearance between uh, something that's recognizable versus something that's a bit amorphous or spiritual. The bully, these types of figures are uh, prominently manufactured among elite secret society men's clubs of this culture, somewhat like you can liken it maybe to the, I don't know, the Illuminati or the men of letters or something of that nature. These secret societies come together. So that what, what this is produced out of is a, a wooden armature underneath. So you start with a wooden armature, uh, then surround that by a, a layer of cloth cotton. And then you have multiple layers built up over a long period of time. Layers of clay, earth, mud, uh, grass, seeds, and grains. Uh, and then also some uh, more charged materials such as blood of sacrificial animal victims, feces and urine, whole variety of different well, human and animal, <clears throat> organic matter, vegetable matter, and even sometimes inorganic material incorporated into it as well. It definitely is this idea of, of layering this, the secret society coming together and through their, their collective secret wisdom layering on these, um, these, these very earthly rooted primal materials and that parallels the idea of layers of sacred wisdom and, and secret knowledge. Then it becomes a central communal power force in a sense. All this layering of wisdom helps then for the broader benefit of the community at large, and specifically for the men's association, as they're called. Yeah. I'm particularly struck by uh, the, the, <coughs> the meaning and the significance and the power ascribed to materials that we consider either very mundane or sometimes even taboo. You know, blood and, 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 and feces, which it's fine when it's inside your body, but as soon as it comes out of your body, that, then it becomes a taboo item, right? So, uh, so it's just interesting how uh, these, these materials can be so charged and meaningful in a particular context.